It's a Bringer Compilation. Okay, bye. Goth girlfriend this, and goth girlfriend that. Where were y'all when I was getting bullied in middle school? Also getting bullied in middle school. An ally. Change returned. $21,714.77. Can you give this to me in Carter's? Everyone needs to be themselves and not let anyone get in the way of that. If I want to suddenly remember about a secret stash of oats and honey granola bars after six-ish months, and then eat half of the 64-pack, then me do me. Chase your dreams. King Henry VIII. I want to look stupid wide in my portraits. Go ham, brother. Mm. Oh, Wowsley. I'm trying to get a divorce, but I'm dumb. Thick. And the clap of my ash cheeks keeps alerting the Pope. Aw, oh, she a glass of milk. Oh, the plot hole? That's there for... ventilation. Me poking holes in my plot to let characters I've trapped in a cup breathe. <gasps> <coughs> Animadiacs 2020 is unrealistic. Not just because of everything about it, but also because Yako didn't die instantly and permanently after consuming all the data on the internet. I've been solely exposed to the World Wide Web over a period of years, and my brain is melting out of my ears. How is Yako even functioning? That's a good point, actually. Hello everyone, this is Snob. I just wanted to say you are all beautiful and capable of anything. Some people forget that. If something is difficult, take a second to rest and look at it from a different angle. Backtrack if needed. Someone out there is going through the same thing, and someone cares about you. If this helps any of you even slightly, I'm happy. There's no need for likes though. I will ask you share this to those who might need it. Thank you. We don't deserve Snob! Yo, why do people call soda soft drink? You ever felt that thing in your mouth? They're spiky, not soft. Flock it. So what do you do for a living? I exist against my will. Two asexuals sitting in a tree. S-I-T-T-I-N-G. Can you please call the fire department? We're stuck. Top picks for April. Buddy, it's November. <gasps> Wait. Wacko had a gender once. Then he ate it. Non-binary. So you know what? Fuck you. I'm uncaramelizing your dancing. How dare you? I don't trust birds. Fucking hollow bones. That's suspicious. What are you hiding in there? Love. Oh, fuck shit, you're right, fuck. Volunteering at a soup kitchen is one of the least productive things you can do to change the world. Art can inspire people and motivate them. Food is important, yes. But you aren't changing that person's life. Whoever wrote this post has definitely never been hungry. There are only four genders, bitch, bastard, baby, and clown. Only the Avatar, master of all four genders. The history professor. No one worships those gods anymore. Anyone who did has passed away by now. The pagans. Quit telling everyone I'm dead! Today I learned that a captive beluga whale learned how to read rudimentary English after seven years in captivity. It was only known after a diver visiting his tank at night heard voices telling him to get out when no one else was in sight. It was actually the beluga whale. That is spooky. Where is my 48-hour horror game about this? I need it. Please and thank you. Bakachero, what's your opinions on dirt? I just love, love, love what you can find in there. Like worms? Even people, if you dig down far enough. Oh, so you like metal? <laughs> Name three blacksmiths. Will, Jaden, and Willow. This post has two puns. I can't handle this! I want to be a Bart Ender. Men named Bart, look out. I love working out of Joe and Fabrics. Today a guy asked me to show him the fake fur, and when I did he goes, No, this won't do. And part of my job is giving advice for projects, so I asked him, What was he using it for? And he looks down at the floor, and quietly says, I want to make a Yeti costume to scare people with when we go skiing. Aha! We found the Scooby-Doo villain! This unused memory pick in Breath of the Wild is killing me. I have so many questions. Who took this pick? Why is Link doing the jutsu pose? Why is Zelda like, Oh shit, what you gonna do? Link is gonna jutsu you all <laughs> look out! Where do you even find this memory? It's unused because Link is repressing this memory. Wrap a rubber band around your door lock tonight. If you aren't doing this already, you should start. <laughs> Let the boogeyman get me? No, 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 no way. I know you're behind this boogeyman. You want my wallet? Go get it! Fun game. Refer to America as South Canada and watch as Americans lose their shit. Ugh. 
probably because it's the United States of America and not South Canada. That doesn't even sound right. <laughs> Look, it's working. It's a cute little thing, though. Sometimes it's hard to remember that owls are incredibly dangerous predators seen by cultures throughout the world as ill omens, especially when they look like toasted marshmallows. My boss once described them as flying pillows filled with seething hatred. I could see it, but I still want to smooch his head. Look at it. Van Gogh ate yellow paint because he was suicidal, Karen. If Van Gogh had antidepressants, we wouldn't have his artwork. We'd have a lot more of his work, Karen. Who the fuck cares about what we get from him? He deserved to be well, Karen. Cut his ear off for a woman because he Because he was mentally ill, Karen! I'm at a McDonald's and this little kid just took off his shoes and dumped all of his fries into it. My dude put the shoe back on with the fries in it! Homie's walking out of the establishment with fry feet, my dude! Ah, that's old Salty Shoes Sam. Comes in here all the time. Robot Lobster. Why though? He's a robster. I love it when people try to claim representation in fiction is being taken too far to the point where it's not believable. They're like, ugh, what's next? A mixed race immigrant on the autism spectrum? Hi, my name is Rachel, also known as Rashna. I'm a mixed race immigrant on the autism spectrum. What's next? A transgender Latino man with chronic pain? What, you mean my former colleague Marco? What's next? A black Jewish lesbian? Bitch, I know three black Jewish lesbians! What's your fucking point? Is now a bad time to mention I actually don't hate this site? I mean, I hate the owners, hate the staff, hate the incompetence, whoever's in charge here. But I love this site. I love the format, I love my mutuals, I love my followers, and all the amazing content creators here. I don't know what I'll replace this with, if anything. January, February, quarantine, December. It's fucking December? What? Wait, no. You tricked me for a second, which really speaks for how much me any time is lost. Oh shit, I scheduled this for December. What do you mean it's December? Oh my god, what the fuck? You ever just stand up too fast and all you feel is just head pound, heart, ow, eyes bad, oh god, I'm going to die. And then after 15 seconds, you're okay again? Because same. My idea. T-shirt that says well-intentioned on the front and but stupid on the back. God lives in a jar. How does it feel, God? How does it feel? Multiplayer video games are bad for health, heart, and emotional well-being. Cut them out of your diet. Did you lose again? No. Maybe. Psst. Hey. Are you an artist or a writer with work in progresses? Come here. I got a secret for you. Psst. Come here. We're hitting in deep suspense. Psst. You ready? Here comes a secret. Here it comes. I'm also very curious about this secret. Your time spent enjoying the creative process is infinitely more valuable than any final product you create. So stop putting yourself down for never finishing or posting those work in progresses because every moment you spent creating something you loved is a moment not wasted. Your progress and talent is measured by your passion, not your number of posts. Aw oh man, I wanted to map to an ancient city of treasure. The most painful social interactions are when you miscalculate someone's meme literacy and reference something and the person or group doesn't get it and you have to half-heartedly explain it, knowing full well it's 0% funny if people don't have the full convoluted context of the joke, and you feel the flames of hell start to lick at your feet, and all they give you is a pity laugh. Damn. People talk a lot about figuring out the shower in someone else's house, but every microwave I've ever used other than mine has made me feel like a Neanderthal being thawed from ice, shown a car for the first time, and immediately asked to change the oil. Me text back three years later. <laughs> Not much, what about you? The worst part about studying languages is knowing that you'll never be nearly as good at it as a literal baby. Thanks, I hate it. What do you mean I never reached out to you? I literally manifest you in fake scenarios I create in my head each night before I fall asleep. I made stew, it was awesome. I love potatoes. Aw, I love you too. Wait, what was in the stew? Pick one. Edge piece or centerpiece? Neither, because brownies are fucking nasty and so are the bitches who eat them. I'm sorry that nobody in your family can bake. My mom's a private chef and I'm in culinary training. Don't roast us like this. I'm sorry that your mom went to culinary school and still can't bake. Oh, shit! I googled why do cats run around and meow at night, and one of the results listed this as a cause. A simple zest for life. It's true. Excuse me, Piff, could you get your zesting on at a more reasonable hour, though? Zest has no curfew. I require speed! What if people made humanizations of colleges and started shipping them? Uh, the AO3 tag you're looking for is Academia Anthropomorphic. It's very suspicious that you know that. If the multiverse theory is true, then there's a universe where it isn't. Multiverse theory doesn't cover paradoxical situations. Except in the universe where it does. I'm having an aneurysm! I like my coffee how I like my coffee. I like my coffee.
serial killer smiley face. Physically, I'm here. Mentally, I'm walking at a snail's pace through the mountains of Skyrim, occasionally screaming in dragon tongue because I am carrying valuable bones that weigh 15 kilos each, and my horse ran off, sprinting into the direction of a wolf who looked at me funny in the next town over. Skyrim is great, you guys. Stormcloaks. The Empire is bad, and that's why we worship that guy that, um, founded the Empire. If our ancestors saw how we lived, for the most part, they'd probably think we're royalty. And I'd like to think that'd make them happy. Man, you right. Anyone else here a fool, a hooligan, an oaf with a PhD in buffoonery? What are we all but foolish mortals? It's just fucked up that we bred pigeons to be our companions and then we no longer had use of them. We just abandoned them and now we treat them like menaces and pests and people want them dead. They're our friends. Okay, I was drunk, but I was right. One minute of a Ghibli movie is greater than anything by Tarantino. I am not kidding when I say this single shot is better than anything your favorite director has ever made. Except if it's Hayao Miyazaki, then it's just Hayao Miyazaki being greater than Hayao Miyazaki, which is just, I don't even know where to begin on that one. Weather boy. Derogatory. OP, what does this mean? Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? I don't know what it means, but I feel offended by it already. This isn't my first rodeo, but it is the first time I've ridden a horse. <laughs> what the hell, bro? You're dungeoning my dragons? You're quick failing my D20? You're destroying my lich's palacatry and insight checking my NPCs? It's not fine. Go fuck up. It deeply pains me to know that there are some fanfics out there. Some golden fanfics that deserve to be seen and appreciated and that I will never get a chance to read because they're buried amongst thousands of other golden fanfics and there's simply not enough time to read all of them because of this stupid mortal countdown. Jesus, man. You know what? I'm not a simple person with simple tastes. I'm exceedingly complicated and my tastes are extremely convoluted. Never mind, I was just thirsty. Why won't Body tell me that it needs water in a direct way? Oh, you were parched. I thought you were horny. I'm asexual and I crave moisture. I'm getting I'm asexual and I crave moisture printed on a t-shirt now. Anonymous asked, Dilves immediately made me think of Dilf Elves. I don't think Dilf Elves can exist. I don't think it's possible, but I'm open to being proved wrong. Wait, 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 I got one. I got one, bear with me. Santa. This is a lot to unpack at once, conveniently compressed into a single word response, like a live grenade thrown gently from off stage. Elliot Page, formerly known as <laughs> It's called dead name because if you say it, you die. Yes. Isn't it suspicious that the sexiest man alive is always already a celebrity? I feel like they're really not plumbing the depths in their research. Like imagine if you got the sexiest man alive edition of people and your orthodontist was on the front cover and you were like, oh, whew, I guess I'm not the only one who sees it. <laughs> okay, Google, red toad, actual toad, like real life toad. Images for red toad, actual toes, like real life. That one's not even red. My pet peeve, people who yelled at you and made you angry, but try to joke with you a few minutes later because they can't stand the atmosphere they created. I'm sorry, did you mean parents? If everybody will behave with intelligence, the pneumonia rate will soon recede. There is much virtue in your if. The Philadelphia Inquirer, Pennsylvania, December 7th, 1922. Me reading this in 2020, almost 98 years after this was published. Yep. You know what? I'm taking away the language until you all learn how to act. Booga, unga, booga, booga. Power Bible. That moment when you say you're bored and someone starts listing off chores and homework to do. Like, why the hell do you think I'm capable of doing something productive when I'm bored out of my damn mind? People who were born prematurely can never say the phrase, I was born ready. Um, <laughs> excuse you. I was so ready, I demanded to be born. Perhaps the thing that was the most pog champ was the friendship we made along the way. Are you gonna make a pog champ meme with Sienna? I did that before pog champ was even a meme. Characters with no flaws are boring. That's just a fact. Oh yeah. Uh, fuck. Never mind. I take it back. Everyone on this post trying to point out flaws that Kirby has should be absolutely and completely ashamed of themselves. There is a Kirby flaw. He isn't real, therefore I can't hug him. Vinyl is probably the best medium because the material is relatively soft, so it's easier to eat. Cassettes are a pain in the ass because you can't eat the shell. You have to wide out all the music yourself to eat it. I hate cassettes. I'm sorry, what? 
Being trans level 2 involves having a gender you reserve specifically for cis people, then breaking out the good actual gender around other trans people like it's fine china. By night, I am Socrates. But by day, I am Karen. A friend of mine wanted to play as a rude character in D&D, &D, and he told me that I am the rudest person he knows, and wanted me to teach him how to act rude. And yes, I taught him how to act rude, I'm not an asshole. Mothers and fuckers of the jury, I am the one radical dude, and I am here to prove the defendant is not bodacious. Prosecutor, I'm gonna have to ask you to take a chill pill, dude. Guys, this is a murder trial. Whoa, jury number three, I'm gonna have to ask you to chillax. Can you please chillax, murder is not bodacious. This guy literally murdered the victim in cold blood. And that, my dude, is in violation of Radical Saturday. And why are you telling me to chillax? Your radical honor, can we have jury dude number three leave the call for being too rowdy? Totally, dude. Thank you, my bodacious honor dude. Your radical honor, I only did it for the vine, I swear. That may lower your charges slightly, but you did break bodacious Saturday. Yana, what do you think? The defendant does say he only did it for the vine, and that's pretty rad. However, he did break Radical Saturday, and that's just an absolute no in my book, dude. I find the defendant guilty for breaking Radical Saturday, but totally innocent for the not as radical murder. Thank you, my radical honor, dude. You're absolutely welcome, my prosecutor, dude. Keep being rad. What just happened? Yeah, but could a spy do this? Ugh, fine. I guess you are my little fuck, Jab. Come here.